Saddleback leather, large classic briefcase in tobacco brown, nine month update. Just gonna show you some of the wear on it. After nine months of use, you can see a lot of scratches. We leather milked it in June. So this is what it looks like about a month later. Month and a half, I guess. Spilled milk on it, right there. And right there. And right there. And right there. That's how it looks from the back. That's how it looks from the side. After nine months of daily use. The bottom. So it's permanently darkened from the leather milk, which I really, really like because I think it looks better like this. And I decided to get a new water bottle, the largest possible water bottle to fit into it because little water bottles weren't, weren't cutting it. I was running out of water too soon, so I got this guy. It's working really well. Stretch this out a little bit, but it fits perfectly. and last longer throughout the day so I don't die of dehydra dehydration anymore. Since my last update this bag has accompanied us to have a baby human. It has been on another weekend adventure. It has been on two one and a half mile walks in backpack mode um, and backpack mode remains to be not very comfortable. So you can see this hangs back a lot more before it used to stick up like that. It's really, really soft. I've got a whole bunch of folders and papers, notebooks, charger, headphones, pen, key to the office on there, computer, folders, some business cards in there, some business cards in there, and in there. On one of the one and a half mile walks in backpack mode, I put a camel back in here and had the hose come out the side. And it was actually really nice. Some more of the wear and tear. See a lot of scratches showing up after the leather milking. Still looking really good though. Here's some more milk from the milk spill. And the strap. Right there. So after looking at the Saddleback Leather website, right there, I copied that. I decided to reverse these guys here, because I had them the other way before. And so since I leather milked it, I put them back on like this, and I actually like it a lot better. I think it looks, I think it makes it look really good and adds a little bit more, an interesting look to it. Uh, also, since we returned my wife's bag, we ended up getting her this patio for her seven year wedding anniversary. Still working on it, but yeah. The bag also got rained on. And took it like a champ. So it got spilled on, rained on. Just a little note on inside. So when I have folders full of paper, um, because of the suede, on the bottom of the bag, the when I open the folder, there's actually little bits of little suede stuff stuck all over the paper, or other things that are in here. Just heads up on that. Someone at the office commented that I am obsessed with this bag. I don't know why in the world they would say that. Also, I guess I won some stuff in like a wind wheel spinning thing, and uh, it was we were on a conference call with a whole bunch of people on it, and. Someone on the other end said that all that all the winnings should be able to fit into my bag, referring to this. And then I was meeting with somebody and they thought my bag looked European. And I was talking to someone else and they liked it and they kind of compared it to a Filson type bag. So here's the keychain after nine months of usage. I don't know if you can see it. 
There you go. Nine months of the keychain being used. This was tobacco brown, still is. Just looks a lot different. It's really shiny. And some of the stitches are coming out. But this is the famous Saddleback keychain that they give you. Or if they forget, you just ask them and they'll send you one when you buy a bag. So there's nine months of wear on this guy. So it should last a hundred years. I might have to take a lighter to this thread there. In case you were wondering. And I finally found a place to keep the bag. I kept it between a little dresser and the closet. Totally out of the way of everybody. But my wife commandeered that spot for the shredder. So the bag goes on tables and chairs, couches. It just kind of goes where I set it when I get home. So, more on that later. Alright, there you have it. Nine months of everyday use. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I'm going to be doing these until I get sick of them. Or until people stop watching them. So, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.